Today, short and sweet. Last night, Brother Hemus preached, and wow, it was amazing. It was so amazing. He preached the Word of God about Jacob, and this was fascinating. He talked about Jacob's dream. And in Genesis chapter 28 and 12, it says, And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth. And the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. Did it look exactly like this? No, this picture is just an example. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac the land wherein thou liest. To thee I will give it, and to thy seed. That is amazing. The Lord stood above it and spoke to Jacob. Sorry, I had the wrong verse. There we go. They grab 14 and 5. It says, And the Lord my God shall come, and all the saints with thee. So let's remember that part. Okay, let's look at the next one. chapter 16 and verse 27 says for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels remember we just read in Zechariah it says with his saints now let's look at that word saints that means holy people but here it says, with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Let's look at another verse here. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 31. It says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory. But wait a minute, we just read in verse 27, the glory of his Father. Does that mean different? No, it's still the same meaning. We 
When we read the Bible, we begin to understand there's one God. <coughs> and it says, And all the holy angels, not some, but all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. It's very interesting. Jesus is speaking about himself here. That proves there's one God. In Revelations chapter 22 and 1 it says, And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. It's not separate. The word and here, it does not make it separate. I am a husband and a brother also. I'm a husband to Lisa and I'm a brother to my sister, but I'm still one person. In verse 3 we say, And there shall be no more curses, for the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. His. This word means one. It doesn't say them or many. It's his. His servants, angels and saints, shall serve him. We have the throne of God in the Lamb sitting on the throne. And they shall serve him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, that he is my God, the only Savior. Love you all. God bless you.